And finally, the new iOS 18 Beta 5 is available and it's about 2.8 gig size. And here, I'm going to review the new iOS 18 Beta 5 and the new feature that was added by Apple. So, the new iOS 18 comes alongside with so many features that we've discussed in the past few weeks. And now, the iOS 18 Beta 5 now redefined most of the things that we have been waiting for to be added to this final beta before the official release in September. So if I don't know this video, you found this often informative, don't forget to like, share, and do share with others using iPhone that are currently running on iOS 18 beta to update the latest iOS 18 beta 5. Now, the first noticeable feature of the iOS 18 beta 5 is the home screen feature. So there's a new feature added to the home screen. If you press and hold the home screen just like this, then click on the edit button at the top left, then you should see a new feature called the edit page. Now you can now edit your iPhone home screen page. Now you see I have just five applications on this page. I have one missing to fill up the page and here one is missing. Now with the new iOS 18 beta 5 edit page on your iPhone, you can just click on the edit button, then click on edit pages. Then you can now rearrange your iPhone page like this. So once rearranged, go ahead and click on the done button, then click outside, then you should see the half pages rearranged on your iPhone. So this is the effect of the iOS 18 beta 5 released. So that is one of the noticeable features while testing the iOS 18 beta 5 on my iPhone that support the device. Now another feature that supports the iOS 18 beta 5 or that Apple shows to add to the new iOS 18 beta 5 is that while using the spotlight set, all applications are now coming up in dark mode when you turn on dark mode on your iPhone. How can you confirm this? Just press and hold empty screen, click on edit, then click on customize. Go ahead and turn on dark mode. Now once you enable dark mode, this is going to turn on dark mode on the hub icon on your iPhone like this. Now when you search for any application using the spotlight search, you see that? So if I search for WhatsApp, the iPhone iOS 18 beta 5 now forks dark mode on the spotlight search or when searching for application using the spotlight search. So this is yet another feature of the new iOS 18 beta 5. Another noticeable feature is the control center. There is a redesign in the control center. If you come to the iPhone control center, you discover that the control center now had larger graphic icons. So compared to the iOS 18 beta 4 that was released, then we now have a larger icon compared to the previous release. So this is yet another feature you need to take note when you are upgrading to the latest iOS 18 beta 5. There are more changes that comes to the iOS 18 beta 5 on your Safari browser. So here now you now have controls over pops on the Safari browser. So if you're using Safari browser and all the notifications are just keeping up, prompting you to accept cookies, cache, then with the new iOS 18 beta 5, you now have more controls over all these applications. So this is called distraction control in Safari. So with the Safari distraction control, you now allow iPhone users to hide distraction element from web page or article. So like when you are prompted to sign into cook, uh, to Windows, cookies preference, pop-ups, GDPRL notice, newsletter sign up banner, autoplay videos, and many more can be hidden right from your Safari browser. So, last but not the least, on the features of the new iOS 18 beta 5 is the Photos app. There are a lot of updates that comes to the Photos app recently from the iOS 18 beta 5. And if you've been using the iOS 18 beta 4 or 3 before now, you discover that this changes is noticeable. And with this, you now allow users to swipe through different collections from the main Photos grid that has been removed entirely making the app less confusing and repetitive. So instead of making this application repetitive, then some of these features have been removed on the latest beta 5 on your iPhone control center. And then you can see now have customizer and reorder. So customizer and reorder was not part of the iOS 18 beta 4 or the iOS 18 when it was first released. Then here you now have all this on your iPhone photo app due to the latest release on the iOS 18 beta 5. So these are the cool features you can have access to or that you have access to on the new iOS 18 beta release. So 
If you found this educative and you are planning to upgrade to this right away, please don't forget to like and subscribe.